Hey there, good to see you back in the barrel. I'm the Barrel White. We're still doing NIMBY Rails, and we're doing German Rails series. We're up to episode 15. Today we'll be doing part two of Frankfurt to Saarbrücken. Sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I was in vacation, and guess where? That's right, Germany, riding them German Rails. Had a really good time. Got to go back and forth between Trier and Koblenz and Koblenz and Frankfurt a few times. But that was it as far as trains went. So let's take a look here and see what we're actually doing with our rails. It's like we're at Hopstetten. And just, you know, doing the normal thing, putting down some tracks, putting down some stations, looking at these cool uh, co coats of arms. That one had a, an interesting seashell on it. I wonder what the root of that is. You know, and that's one thing I've, I've, I remember doing. I remember 3,000 years ago I was there. No, uh, I'm talking three weeks ago, I was there making these videos. I remember kind of talking about these coats of arms. And I've been just taking the time to find the coat of arms on, just using Wikipedia. Putting them on here and, uh, you know, just kind of commenting. But maybe I should look in a little deeper on some of these because some of these are very interesting. Like that one had a blue seashell. What could that possibly mean? guys nowhere near the sea though of course there may have been fossilized seashells around where he lives who knows but still whoever put that together made a choice here's some more seashells right here's some black seashells and some horns I get horns but I'm not sure what's up with the seashells so we may continue to get more educational and not only know what town we're looking at and what their coat of arms are but maybe once in a while figuring out what they actually mean maybe we'll see see this one's pretty cut and dry right? i think so um castle yeah hey look we're numborn and we have a tower and that's what how we really represent our strength in our area a lot of them have these wheels which uh, tend to be some kind of water wheels probably include um, you know ownership of big mills things of that nature and I'm sure that was uh, a huge part of anyone's wealth was to be able to control the food supply of the area Sankt in German, of course, is the same as Saint. So that was a, ta a town, a station, named after Saint Wendel, of whom I am not familiar. feel like this family may have gotten a little uh, lazy or maybe they were just poor and they can only afford blue and white so when they made their coat of arms they just said you know let's just put a big flower on it and don't use too many colors through this part of Germany it's pretty rural is very hilly and uh, I mean you see how the um, the rails are just winding through these valleys often along the rivers um, very often cutting through hills and with tunnels things of that nature and then you'll come up to intersections like this where there there'll be a few 
um, crossroads, you know, several lines coming together, but still not super complicated. While in Germany on this trip, I did come to realize that the the myth, the myth, at least where I live, that German trains are very punctual uh, is indeed a myth. Uh, I had very few trains that did not have at least a five minute um, can't a five minute I'm trying to think of English word, uh, you know, delay. But I had trains canceled, had a train stopped in the middle of this route, and we all had to get off and wait to an wait for another train. I've had trains multiple times where just seconds before the train was arriving, it would say, oh, you're not on platform five, you're on platform four. Fortunately, both of those times uh, for this visit, it was just a quick jaunt from left to right. <laughs> we were, it was all the same platform, just one side to the other. And that's what made me think about this, is that I, we were just here in the game. You saw me make a little crossover after a station. Those are really important because in the real world, trains constantly have to change which platform they're going into. And though it may seem like one is right and left, they'll come into whatever platform is gonna be available. Of course, we can't be quite that dynamic in this game. In this game, and this in Nimi Rails doesn't have built-in, um, you know, problems like that. I suppose it's not that type of simulator. But the way we use it, or the way I'm using it, trying to set up like 30-minute and hourly uh, arrivals and departures, there sometimes are some late things here. But it's never going to make a change. It's always going to come in at the station I've assigned it in the platform. Though if anyone knows that I'm missing out on some whole cool feature about platforms, let me know. I would like to hear that. I was finally able to stop my chair from clicking, took it all the way apart, put it back together, and now I just realized that my uh, my table is squeaking. My videos are doomed to have some kind of strange background noise. This complicated intersection here is part of the, what I really love about the game, is that you can really intertwine things and it looks so cool, especially when there's multiple trains running on it when you're watching.
ooh, I'm going to break down somewhere there in the middle. The Pathfinder goes about halfway down this route, this intended route, and turns all the way around and goes all the way back through Mannheim. Well, we don't want that to happen. So let's find where is the breakdown in between here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I got a little too happy building bridges and and uh, trying to be fast about it and ended up not even actually connecting them. Be careful when you're uh, zoomed out far when you're building. You will run into this. Now let's see if that fixed it. I'll build it. And yeah, now we have a, a, a green route from Frankfurt to Zarbrücken, exactly as intended. Put some trains on it now. We'll just run the one train on it for a minute to see how things look. Basically, I'm just wanting to see if it heads down and goes to the next station and the next and the next and the next without um, some some break in the line or, or some error that I've made causing it to have to go back to the last station to um, do some funny business. We don't want that. Looks like we're almost there to Zarbrücken. Yep. All right, we made it. So we're... we're we're good. Pick a depot, of course. Frankfurt's a big place. We'll have trains start there, but we'll also have trains start in Zabrucken. And I think I already have a depot down that way. So the, this train on this line will start in Zabrucken and in the evenings it'll go to the depot down there. Ooh, it looks like I may not have a depot down there. Yep, need to build one. So we'll slow it down, pause the game, and just get a depot in there. Simple as that. Add the, add the depot overnight. Copy one day to the whole week. Add another train with that schedule. Now we should have four trains running. We'll fast forward to the next day. Ouch, something got ugly. Oh boy. This is probably a signaling issue. We'll reset a few of these trains, see if we can figure it out. Well, I don't know what I did to figure it out, but uh, let's hope it's still working. Yeah, we got it. Okay. I'll try not to wait three weeks to add my voices voice over to this in the future, so I can remember what happened with these uh, with these episodes. But now we're down to about an hour interval. That's great. That's what we wanted. And when trains are going, after the first trains are going on any line, we should have a, every hour, approximately, a train is going to pull into the stations on this that we've assigned as stops.
Well, that should be about it for this episode. So let's take a look and see what we managed to accomplish today. We did 48 new kilometers of rail with 23 new stations. It's actually quite a lot when you think about it. That adds up to the series of over a thousand kilometers of track and 241 stations. So it looks like every four kilometers or so we have a thing, a station. And that's it for this episode. I really want to thank you for watching. I appreciate that you came and saw this. Hit like, hit subscribe so you can see when I add new ones. I have some new ones coming soon. Uh, Nibby Rails still, of course, German Rails. And um, I hope you have a great day in the barrel. So see you later.